Hey everyone, welcome back to Omics Pages. I am in Jerry and I am going to be celebrating African Liberation Month, Black Futures Month, Black History Month during the month of February. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about three readathons that I'm going to be participating in. So the first is the one, the only Dee Dee from Brown Girl Readings readathon called Read So Lit. That is going to be taking place on her blog, Brown Girl Reading, as well as her Instagram channel. Instagram page, I don't know, Instagram, on her Instagram, uh, and also on YouTube. So one of the things that she's going to be doing on YouTube is that every week she's going to be um, uploading a live chat with a number of black booktubers from our community. The first one happened yesterday and it was fantastic. I will be participating in the chat on February 16th. So please tune in to all of the chats. Um, but if you want to tune in to the one on the 16th as well, please do that. She's also gonna be hosting a book photo challenge on her Instagram. And every day in February, you will be prompted to upload a picture of a book that represents Presents a particular theme that she has identified. So check her Instagram channel for that. And of course, uh, she is also active on Twitter. So that is Read So Lit. Dee Dee has been around for quite some time on BookTube. She is the OG of the Black readathons in our community and deserves a lot of praise, gratitude, and support for her work. The second readathon that I'll be participating is Melanin Book Magic, which is originated from the lovely Capri Nicole at Capri's Book Island. And in each, on each day in February, Capri Nicole is going to be uploading videos where she talks about different themes related to Black History Month and will be asking a number of questions and answering a number of questions. And I believe that she's going to be reading Black all throughout the month of February. So definitely check out her channel and I will be uploading uh, a video, maybe more than one, during the month of February to commemorate her readathon. One of the questions that she asked, I'm going to do right now. One of the questions that she asked in her um, in her list of questions is was Black History Month something that your family celebrated? And I am very fortunate because um, my family did celebrate Black History Month through our involvement in the church. Um, I was involved in the church up to age 19 and our church was a Caribbean church. And so every February we had a Black History Month celebration which featured things like poetry, dancing, music, food, and literature. So we had these little booklets uh, from American organizations that um, talked about Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Harriet Tubman, who was my favorite, and a number of other black historical figures from the American experience. And so going to a Catholic, a Catholic Caribbean church plus learning about Black History Month meant that February was a really special time that I definitely looked forward to. So not only do I carry that tradition on in terms of um, spiritual and ancestral and political re um, reasons in, in those ways, I also carry on the tradition now in terms of my reading, except I read Black um, almost 95% of the time. So for me, it wouldn't be special for me to just read Black authors in February because I do that. I think what's special for me is the time that I take to reflect on what I'm reading, why I'm reading, and the contribution uh, that that's making to my life. the contribution that is making to my life and um, to others around me. So that is Melanin Book Ma Magic <laughs> by um, uh, Capri Nicole. The third and final readathon that I'm going to be participating in in February is the Blackathon. The Blackathon is organized by Jesse from Bowties and Books. Lauren from the novel Lush and Francina from Francina Simone and these three lovely humans are coming together to challenge us to do five things. So where are my challenges? The first challenge is called Feel the Love. Read a book of any genre featuring romance between two black people or one black person and a person of color. So for this challenge, I'm going to be reading Ascension by Jacqueline Koyanagi. And I have had this on my shelf for a very long time. This book was very hard to find and it involves, um, it's a space romance, space opera. This is the main character, Alana Quick, and I believe that she falls in love with a, actually, I believe that Alana is non-binary. 
or trans, so I'm not exactly sure yet, um, and falls in love with a woman in space, and that's hot, so I'ma read it. Uh, I'll just read the back real quick. Elena Quick is the best damned sky surgeon in Heliodor City, but repairing starship engines barely pays the bills. When the desperate crew of a cargo vessel stops by her shipyard looking for her spiritually advanced sister, Nova, Alana stows away. Maybe her boldness will land her a long-term gig on the crew, but the tangled axon proves to be more than star watching and plasma coils. The chief engineer thinks he's a wolf. The pilot fades in and out of existence. The captain is all blonde hair, boots, and ego, and Alana can't keep her eyes off her. But there's little time for romance. Nova's in danger and someone will do anything, even destroying planets, to get their hands on her. So it's not a black on black love um, and I'm really interested in reading it. The second challenge is Wakanda Forever and that is read a graphic novel or comic with a black African main character. So for that challenge, I'm going to be reading the Black Sun trilogy. So I picked this up at um, the Black Speculative Arts Movement Conference that was held in Toronto over this past summer. And this uh, comic series was written and illustrated by Kelvin Niusi Mawazo. And I believe if you look at my um, video from that, uh, con it's, it's kind of a con but if you look at it, um, that video you will meet him because I believe that I interviewed him and he was very sweet uh, book one is called invasion yes book one is called invasion um, book two is called time and book three which is check out that cover that's really why it's all about book three obviously <laughs> book three is called visions so they are cute little books that you can stick in your purse, which is important to me. So that is going to fulfill the second challenge, Wakanda Forever. So the third challenge is called Hear Us. And Hear Us asks us to read any work by a black African author. And for that challenge, I'm going to be reading New World Old Ways, which is a collection of speculative fiction from the Caribbean, edited by Dr. Karen Lord. Dr. Karen Lord is an amazing writer. I've read two of her books so far, Redemption and in Indigo, as well as The Best of All Possible Worlds. And her writing is ex exquisite, so beautiful. Um, and her imagination is so fierce. So I've already started this. I'm about three stories in and I'm really enjoying where they're taking me. The fourth challenge is called Feel the Beat, and you don't really have to read anything for this. All you've got to do is listen to the four spoken word pieces that have been uploaded to the Twitter, I believe, and talk about them. Film a video where you talk about them, talk about them with your friends and family, talk about them to your mom or your dog or yourself or your journal, whatever. Just do that and you'll fulfill the challenge. So I'm looking forward to that because I haven't listened to spoken word in a really long time and I do like it. The fifth challenge is called More Than a Color. We house complexity within us. Read a book starring an intersectional black character, black and LGBT, black and neurodivergent, black and disabled, etc. So I am going to be reading a book and I believe it satisfies this challenge. Um, it is a tome, it's a long one, so I'm gonna say that it definitely does. Uh, this is Dahlgren. Dahlgren is a classic by Samuel R. Delaney, who is a black gay science fiction writer who's been writing since the 60s and who is incredible. This book has garnered critical acclaim for decades and it features a host of wonderful characters. I'm looking forward to getting into it. I am buddy reading this with James Chatham, Charles of Sir Book Sage, and Rhea from, oh, the book Finch, yes. So um, we're having a good time reading this. It will be read very slowly, but that is gonna satisfy the challenge of more than a color. So challenge number six is we are in it together and we sure are. We are all going to be reading The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I have already listened to this book on audiobooks. I really enjoyed it. And so maybe I will flip through it again, but I will definitely engage it so that I can meet the sixth challenge of the Blackathon. Okay, so that is what's happening in February. We've got Read So Lit, we have got Melanin Book Magic, and we have the Blackathon. I will be posting sometime in February a haul because I have a bunch of books that have been, I have about 
it has to be 25 books that I have been saving for a haul video and many of them will satisfy Read So Lit, Melan Melanin Book Magic, or also um, the Blackathon. So I hope to upload a haul sometime soon. Anyway, to those of you who are working hard this month during Black Employment Month, I hope you make a lot of money and that you enjoy it and that you're treated well by the people who hire you. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because that matters to me and I would appreciate it. If you wanna chat, please do so in the comments below and I will join you there. And if you are not subscribed to this channel and you like what you see, please do subscribe to Onyx Pages and uh, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.